Hi, Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom here. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to my beginner guitar course video lesson series here on YouTube. And today what we're going to be doing is talking about learning how to play some songs. We've learned all kinds of different chords we're trying to get fast at, trying to figure out the most comfortable way of playing those. And so it, it, we've learned about a guitar capo. So it's it's time for us to start trying to play some things. Now, there are hundreds, if not thousands of songs for you to choose from out there. But I did a video a short while back on 10 easy songs to play with just three chords. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that uh, video available to you right now so you can watch this and see if there's any of those songs that are fairly straightforward. Again, they, they probably won't be your favorite songs in the world, right? But we're just getting started. The more chords you learn, the more comfortable you get with moving, the more comfortable you get with strumming, the more options you learn, you know, different kinds of chords and things like that, the closer you get to the kinds of music that you really want to play. Um, but my big thing is, is I just want you to find some things to have fun with while you're getting there. So, you know, your whole existence isn't just frustration when you pick up this instrument. So what I want you to do is please just check this video out, see if we can find something fun in there to play. Um, there are many songs out there, but if you'd like to, for anybody that knows a bunch of songs, please give some comments below of some other songs that would be really fun for someone at this stage in their guitar playing to check out. And uh, that will help us out a lot. So check out this video and I'll see you at the end. Okay, now it's important that you know how to play these chords. And of course, you want to develop your strumming and chord changes and all those kind of things. But let's go ahead and run through these 10 songs just to give you something fun to kind of play. Now, you might like one of these, you might, might like two of these, you might like all 10. The point is just to give you something for you to practice and just have some fun with, okay? So the three chords we're going to need are going to be G, C, and D. And it doesn't matter how you play them. If you play your G with four fingers or three fingers, or you play your G to C like this, or you play G to C like this, whatever works for you. Okay, these songs, it's, it's not going to make any difference. Whatever's comfortable for you. So the first one we're going to talk about is a song by Sublime called What I Got. Okay, and all you're doing here is moving back and forth between D and G. So you're going D... Just D and G back and forth. That is the entire song, okay? Now, when I chose the 10 songs, I tried to make sure that I chose songs that really were only two or three chords, not just like a section and then you have to stop, but you really could play this entire song with just two or three chords. So what I got, literally D and G all the way through. So D, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. That is the whole song, all right? The second one we're going to look at, actually the next group of Four songs all use exactly the same chord progression, which is D, C, and G. Okay? D, C, and G. Now again, it doesn't matter if you play your C this way or if you like to play D, C, and G like that. Whatever works for you, okay? So the first one is going to be Sweet Home Alabama. Okay? Sweet Home Alabama, you can simply play by going D, C, G. Okay, this, it, literally through the entire song, there's only one little teeny teeny thing in there where it goes. There's a little teeny change in there and it's got an F chord and we're not even going to worry about that. But I'm just telling you that you may not even notice it when you play the song. Okay, you can play through the entire song of Sweet Home Alabama just doing D, C and G over and over and over. Okay, the next one is um, Werewolves of London. Okay, Werewolves of London is exactly the same thing, D, C, and G. And then the next one is All Summer Long by Kid Rock, which again is the exact same thing. Okay, so those three songs, exactly the same chord progression, almost exactly the same groove, okay? Now, the next one, this would be number five, is Can't You See by Marshall Tucker. Now, this uses those same three chords, but the setup's just a little bit different. You're going to be playing D, C, G, D. 
Then you start all over with D again. So you're going D for a measure, C for a measure, G for a measure, D for a measure. Okay, I always teach these as what I refer to as a sandwich. It's a D sandwich. So you remember that you start with D and you end with D. That way, when you start all over, you remember to repeat D at the beginning again. So you're going D, C, G, and D. Then you gotta do D again and start all over. Okay, and that's your fifth song. The sixth song we're going to look at is a song by George Thorogood, one of my favorite songs. It's called Get a Haircut. All right. Now, this one starts with an intro that's just G. Now, right here, he starts singing. And right when he starts singing, we're going to do this. We're going to go G. to C, then we're going to go to D, then we start all over again. So if you think about it, you're going G, the intro before he sings is just G. You just keep playing G and have some fun. When he starts singing, the song then will become G, 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 four measures, then C, C, D, D. That's that song. So it's really an eight measure sequence that gets repeated over and over and over. G for four measures. C for two, D for two, okay? Next one we're gonna look at is number seven, which is Old Time Rock and Roll by Bob Seger. Uh, this goes like this. Just take those old records, G, C, D, and G. So this one is a G sandwich, okay? It's going G, G, G for two measures, C for two measures, D for two measures, and then G for two measures again. So try and visualize that in, in your head. You're just going G, G, C, C, D, D, G, G. Now, if for some reason you'd rather think of it as one measure and you're counting half time or something, it doesn't matter. Whatever works for you. The point is, it's just understanding the setup because these songs really are that easy and they're a lot of fun as long as you know your chords and you can do some strumming, right? So you're going G, G, C, C, D, D, G, G. Those are the measures. So it's a G sandwich. You got to start all over again with G when you're done, okay? The next one we're going to look at is Tulsa Time by Eric Clapton, okay? Now this one just uses G and D. Those are the only two chords in the entire song. So you're going G, Then we do the next part, which is D, 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 G. So let me show you this visually, what you're thinking. Tulsa time, when he starts singing, all you're doing is going uh, G, 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 D. Those are your four measures. And then you're going D, 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 G. So G for a measure, G for a measure, G for a measure, D for a measure. And then you're going to turn it around. D, 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 G. That's the entire song. Okay? So learning how to visualize these, these chord changes and different things like that, song structures, is really, really important. Okay? You can go on you know, a website, try and memorize all this, and you're looking at the words, and it doesn't make sense. The nice thing is, is to simplify the, the visualization of this song in your brain. So if you want to play Tulsa time, you're going G, 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 then D. Now we're just going to do the other part, which is D, 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 G. And then it starts all over. G. So technically, this would be like a G sandwich, too, because you're starting with G and then ending with G. Okay? Number nine is going to be uh, Hound Dog by Elvis. Now, because I'm showing you everything using these three chords, um, we're going to change the key of this by using a capo. Okay, so what you would do is you would put the capo on the fifth fret. Okay, let's make sure it's on there nice. I mean, it is. And now, if I put the capo on the fifth fret, I can still use G and C and D up here. Okay, so if G, let's say G, C, and D are the only three chords you really knew. Well, now you could play Hound Dog putting the capo on the fifth fret. So if you think about it, you're going, you ain't nothing but a G. Then C, G, D, C, G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, C, C, G, G, you ain't never 
never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> Another really fun song, really easy to play. And again, if you only know a couple of chords, use that capo and it's going to make it even easier. Okay? And then the last song we're going to look at is one of my favorite songs. It's called Everyday People by Sly and the Family Stone. And this thing is literally using G and C back and forth. And you could even skip the C and just play G for the entire song and it would still sound just fine. Okay, so let me show you this. If you were going... that for the entire song. But if you're familiar with Sly and the Family Stone, if you're familiar with Everyday People, if you did this, or if you played your C like this, it's even easier. If you go G, C, G. You can do that for the entire song. Okay, so here's 10 really fun songs that you can play with just three chords. Now, you can watch this video as much as you need to and pick the ones out of there that you want to try first and just watch that over and over and over and then start listening to the song and figure out how to play it. Okay, so hopefully that video helped you and at least you, maybe you found something in there that you can try and play and take it easy. Don't, don't, you know, don't get all frustrated if it if if it's hard here's what i want to remind you about learning how to play songs break everything down into individual pieces listen to the song as much as you need to to visualize and wrap your brain around the idea the chord changes don't try and play with them right away understand what you're trying to do before you ever enter into um this war with this song, right? So if the song is using E minor, G, D, and C, or whatever it might be, first of all, make sure you understand how the song goes and how the chord changes go. You can hear where the changes are. That's, you know, try and sort of give a good analysis to what you're going to do. Then go to your guitar, start practicing scratching. Figure out if you're going to work with a strumming pattern or you're just going to make something up or you're just going to play down strums or whatever, however you want to approach this. And then shut it all down and practice those chords. Practice the chord changes in the order that they need to be in. Make sure that your brain and your hands understand what you're trying to do. Then go ahead and try and play along with the song and see how it goes. If it fails, understand that it's failing because of one of those three reasons. Either you don't know the song well enough and the chord changes, you don't know your chords well enough, or a chord, maybe there's one chord that's just throwing a wrench in the whole thing, or the strumming is throwing you off because you can't concentrate on all the all three of these things at the same time. Okay? So you have to think about that a little bit as you keep going, and that will save you from, you know, getting really frustrated because I don't want that to happen to you. I want you to keep going. Okay? So please do me a huge favor. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video or share the, uh, the playlist, which the link is in the description. Um, make sure that you subscribe so you always know when new videos come out for this. And uh, there's also a link in the description for some free training, a, a free guitar course that I have. So please click on that if you think that's going to help you at all. Stay positive, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.